Hi, I'm Stan from Overhill Adventures, and today is October the 14th, 2023, the day of the eclipse. So the light's gonna be kind of funny, but who knows, who cares, because we got stuff to do. But we are going to do a mod today on our Grand Design Imagine 2500 RL, and I know you guys like when we do mods. And this time, we're going to put on X braces that was provided by Moride. And you know when you're in the trailer and you've got your scissor jacks down and there's still that movement, or when your wife gets up in the middle of the night and, it's, and the trailer still shakes? Well, I want to get rid of that. And so we're hoping that these X braces are gonna help. Now, as you well know, I've put, you know, cans underneath or wood blocks. We put our um, snap jacks on it, which has helped tremendously stabilize the, the rig, but we still have that little bit of shake and I wanna get rid of the shake. So anyway, we're gonna, we're gonna put these on. We're gonna open the box up real quick and see what we got. There's gonna be two sets. We're gonna, see if that's going to take care of it and we're going to give you our honest opinion uh, open this up for the first time i uh brought these all the way from indiana nice box more eyed all right so these are these are going to be your just one set uh basically just one set for the rear okay so and then Here's another set. And you gotta put those together. We're gonna get rid of these boxes in just a sec. Throw that over there. Oh, they've got instructions. This is, an, this is a bolt on application. So, my suggestion is go to YouTube, the University of YouTube, and look for their installation. It's pretty simple how they do it. So, and I think if it was simple for me, because I'm not the brightest man in the world. I think it's gonna be simple for you. Again, it's just a bolt-on application. They give you several bolts here. This is for your tensioner to tension over here once it's uh, once you have it um, installed. We'll, we'll show you how that happens. Um, and then they give you all kinds of nuts and bolts for the type of application. That's it, we're gonna do this, we're gonna put it together. I think we're gonna have a good time. All right, so the first thing you need to do is you need to bring, bring your scissor jacks. I love the light that, that, that it's got right now. You gotta bring your scissor jacks to, to where they're just barely touching, okay? And then what you gotta do is you gotta get a tape measure and you have got to measure the center of your jack. We'll just do it right here. It's gonna be the same. From that bolt, the end of that bolt is 70 inches. So if you're at 60 and a half or less, these are not gonna fit. If they're greater than 72 in inches in, in width, then you can extend the X braces. So we're at 70, so we're good to go. If you are greater than 72 inches, then you extend it by one hole and there you go. And then you bolt that down. All right, so for, we're not greater, we're 70 inches, so we're gonna go right here. And then, we've got everything provided, but that needs to be provided. I certainly hope. Uh, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Yep, and there you go. And they're Teflon nuts, so that makes it kind of nice. So, I'm gonna get that set up and be right back. This part that's gonna bolt onto your scissor jack, okay. this one's up right here where this part is right here. And then this one is down. See that? It should look somewhat like this. All right, and then you put the other one on the other side. Basically, what it's doing is just putting cross members and on the frame. So, like you would be doing in a house, putting cross members on. So this is gonna be kind of neat. I'm gonna do this real quick before we get, go further. So I'm gonna put the scissors jacks down and I'm gonna shake the trailer and then we'll see what the shake is afterwards in the same position.
That's your both stabilizer are down. You guys see that shake? All right, let's see what we can do. Put their bolt in like that. Get a spacer put it there like that. Put this thing in there like this. And that is one on this side. One hole. Take this bolt off. We use the bolt that we're not going to use. I'm going to use those as little punches. Half inch bolt. Let's make it easy on ourselves. Put in the big bolts. My only concern is that it's going to fight with my snap jack. And the neat thing about these things is they stay on. You don't take them off. We're gonna take this off, put the bolt through, and then we're gonna go to the outside of that one, take that bolt off. You guys, this is really an easy install. I mean, it just, it's really super easy. It takes no brain whatsoever. All right, so I've got that one hooked up. That one's good to go. Um, all I have to do is hook this one, and then we'll tighten down the bolts. And a half more turn. All right, folks. This is just on the back. I haven't done the front yet. Oh, crap, it's pretty stiff now. It's pretty stiff. I can still hear it, so we can still hear it shakes, but it's definitely a lot stiffer. So I'm gonna have to put those fronts on to do the actual full test. So let's do the other thing now. I want to make sure they don't bind up. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 24, 25. All right. Now they say, I'm going to go nice and slow. Okay. Like thunder, All right, to install it, you gotta do exactly the same thing on the front side. So I released the X braces because I want to see the difference and be sure of the difference. There's a huge difference. Huge. Is it worth it? You're gonna to have to make your own determination. I can't tell you that. But if you go through Amazon, and we'll have them in our Amazon store, but if you go through Amazon, they're about 188 bucks a, a set. So that's for the back. And then if you want the front, it's another 188. So it's about 400 bucks. You, you gotta make that determination. Uh, it's significant for me. I don't want you guys to go put that on and, so, and say, oh, it's not that much different. So you guys are gonna to have to make your own determination. All right, I'm Stan from Over the Hill Adventures. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and please hit the subscribe button and ring the bell for our next video. You know, we do all travel adventure videos and we also do how-to videos. And this is one of those um, modifications that was a long time coming and I wanted to do this and man, I'm happy. 
Till the next time.